a relatively unknown club in Italian football, embarked on a remarkable journey in the 1990s, rising from Serie B to becoming UEFA Cup champions not once but twice. This Cinderella story not only captivated the imaginations of fans across Europe but also left an indelible mark on the football world. The success of Parma was not just a result of skillful players and tactical brilliance, it was a testament to the unity between the team and its dedicated supporters. The club's historic promotion to Serie A in 1990 was a turning point in its history. With the modest aim of avoiding relegation, Parma surprised everyone by finishing an impressive sixth in their debut Serie A campaign, earning them a spot in the UEFA Cup. However, their lack of experience in European competitions became evident as they were eliminated in the first round by an 89th-minute goal from CSKA Sofia. Palmer's inexperience extended beyond the European stage. Their game preparation remained makeshift throughout the 90s, with the backup goalkeeper, Marco Balotta, often taking on the additional role of driving the team bus to training, wherever that might be on any given day. Former Palmer midfielder Thomas Brolin recalls the challenges they faced during those early years. We didn't have a training facility. Every morning, we didn't know where we would be training, Brolin revealed. We would change at the stadium, then travel in a minibus to this pitch or that pitch, almost a different one each day throughout the winter. But Palmer was quiet. You could live close to a normal life. Despite the adversity they faced, the Palmer players remained resilient and determined to succeed. The success of Palmer can be attributed not only to the talent on the pitch but also to the strong bond between the players and the city. Luigi Apolloni, who played for Palmer from 1987 to 2000, emphasized the tight-knit nature of the team and the special relationship they had with the supporters. We were such a tight-knit group, and somehow we owed that trophy to the city and our fans, Apolloni explained. When we lost to CSKA Sofia in Europe, it was hard to swallow, but our supporters stayed behind and chanted for us that night to show their gratitude. We would train in a public park in the town centre, and we talked to elderly fans there. Families would come too. We had a really strong bond with the city. Palmer's rise to prominence was nothing short of a fairy tale. For a club that had never played in Serie A before the 1990s, their success surpassed all expectations. It was a period that saw Palmer capture the hearts of football fans across the continent, creating a cult team that would be remembered for generations to come. The club's achievements during this time were nothing short of extraordinary. They won eight trophies in just ten years, including two UEFA Cups, the European Super Cup, one Cup Winners' Cup, the Coppa Italia three times, and a Supercoppa Italiana. Former Palmer star Alberto Di Chiara reflects on this remarkable era, Palmer was something special. What a period that was, Di Chiara remarks. The success of Palmer was a collective effort, combining the talents of numerous top-level footballers who graced the club during the decade. Their achievements were not only feasible but also a testament to the dedication and hard work of everyone involved. The rise of Palmer from Serie B to UEFA Cup champions twice over was a story that transcended the boundaries of football. It was a tale of determination, unity, and a bond with the city and its supporters. Palmer's success in the 1990s will forever be etched in football history, serving as a reminder that with passion, resilience, and a strong sense of community, even the most extraordinary dreams can become a reality. Then there was the final of the UEFA Cup between us and Juve and Milan.